What is the use of metaclasses in Python? Or why does someone even use metaclass? First things first, what even is a metaclass? Metaclasses are classes for classes, just like your granddad for dad. Yep, just like classes define how objects behave, metaclasses define how classes behave. So instead of controlling objects, they control the structure and behavior of classes themselves. So why would you even want to control how classes behave? Simple, for customization. With metaclasses, you can automatically tweak the behavior of classes when created. So, someone might use metaclasses for adding attributes and methods to the class automatically, enforcing certain rules across the class, or when creating complex projects, frameworks, and libraries. Here we have a simple metaclass that automatically adds a method to any class that uses it. In this code, the metaclass myMeta added a show method to my class without us having to define it directly in the class. Let's take a step back and see how this works. First, Python collects the class attributes and methods defined in the class body. Then, it checks if the class has a metaclass. If it does, the metaclass takes control of class creation. Next, the metaclass can then modify the class, adding methods, changing attributes, or whatever we want. Finally, Python uses the modified class. Okay, so now you're probably wondering, should you even use metaclasses in your code? Honestly, for most day-to-day -day programming, you don't need metaclasses. They're more of an advanced tool. But if you're working on something like a framework, library, or complex project, they can be really helpful. Take Django, for instance. Django uses metaclasses to define models for databases. When you create a class in Django, it uses metaclasses to automatically generate database tables based on that class. Similarly, SQL Alchemy and ORMs in general also use metaclasses in a similar way. As a final note, metaclasses control classes like classes control objects. So if you want that level of control, metaclasses are the one you can bet on. All right, if this helped you understand metaclasses, hit that like button, share your thoughts or questions in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for more Python goodness.